everybody. Welcome to my stream. I am Stern B. If you didn't already know from the title, I think it's down below. But yeah, hi. Uh, welcome back to... Well, there's a delay. I was going to say Outer Wilds, but Steam is in the middle of updating. So it'll show up there short, shortly. Anyway, hi. Welcome. And hello, Nausea. And thank you for joining the stream. While we're waiting for the game to start up, because it's being slow today, I'll read what you've typed it in here so far uh well i would say okay i was about to admonish you on your use of the word uh literally but okay that's um uh you're you're using it correctly wow uh or so I actually stopped beating for 52 seconds was it during the moment when you die in the game as well like coincidental <laughs> That'd be odd, but um, maybe the universe is trying to tell you something? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I told the devs about it and they said it was an awesome, it was the greatest compliment ever. Well, I'll be honest with you, I there have been times in this game when I felt my heart probably skip a beat, but I hadn't quite, um, you know, had it stop beating on me, thankfully, knock on wood. And, uh, oh, do I have my audio? Let me double check. Yeah, good. All right, oh, okay, so there's gonna be some. I, the only things I, yeah, I don't think the part you're talking about has been spoiled for me yet. Um, because I, I don't, the only thing I know about this game is that it is apparently a very emotional journey, um, especially towards the ending, I guess. And, but I don't know why exactly. I hope that'll be something I'll discover in due time. Hasn't been spoiled. Uh, but hopefully my um, my heart won't literally stop uh, while playing this game. So we're going to pick up right where we left off last time. Uh, one thing that I forgot to do before the end of the stream last... Uh, was to uh, deposit all the information I learned, hopefully I can still do that now, into the ship log. Yes, good, it is depositing right now. Good. So let's see if we can catch up on everything that happened last time. Look at this, whoa, that was a major plot point there, apparently, the Ash Twin Project. All right. So we have some more information about the quantum moon. Apparently, Church Research has been a quantum moon. No Harthian has been able to land on. Yeah, hopefully I will be able to change that in the near future. This apparently, yeah, there's still more to explore here. So I hope I'll be able to figure out what to do there. Uh, regarding the Ash Twin Project itself, the big Mamma Jamma. Uh, so, yes. Uh, the chamber is physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Yes, I remember hearing about that. They said there was no physical entrance to the center of it in one of the logs that I read. Or for it to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal it off. Yeah, uh huh. And that's from the, uh, the mines. Yes, we did venture into those mines as well. Yeah. Um, once the show's finished, no my check to ensure they're going to the entrance. The entrance is, yep, I see. Mm-hmm. There's of four semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near them behind. I think we saw some depictions of them on some, on some artwork or whatever. Uh, yes, I do remember this island. Statue Island is what it is, apparently. There was the one that had... Well, I didn't remember seeing any statues, but there were a bunch of, like, little platforms you could stand on that had a depiction of a tornado on it. So, I don't know how that relates to anything, but, okay. Maybe I don't mind creating statues like one in our observatory. Yep, such like the beach. Yep, that's right. The person we we met there on Giant Steep told us about that. He had a similar experience that we had when we visited the museum and saw the statue head there. And that's what caused the two of us, <clears throat> hopefully, well, I don't know, hopefully, but so far, anyway, as far as I know, just the two of us are able to um, experience time in a non-linear fashion this way. We're able to keep our memories through each loop. 
It kind of reminds me a lot about the of the uh, Star Trek The Next Generation episode Cause and Defect. I may have to title my stream that. I don't know. We'll see. Ah, so that's actually right. I should open the door. I used to be that. I used to bleed into it. Yes, I do remember that. Couldn't get past that door. It was broken. Things have an alternate, more dangerous route. I don't remember that, but I, I guess I did read that apparently. Cave from one of the rooms on top of the island, and the bottom of the cave is filled with water. Yes, I remember that as well. Okay, so there is an alternate route to get in there. I figured there would have to be. Yeah, on. Here's where I uh, met the fellow, I think. Yep, he was in the hammock. He kind of floated above the hammock when we went up into the. <laughs> above the sky. Flop back down. Poop. Flash for eyes. Yep, remember dying. Saw the memories flash for their eyes. Exactly. Yep. The only one's aware. Yep, there it is. We're in a time loop. Okay. I do like how the, the game is slowly revealing little bits by bits as you explore things. And you have to be really proactive in your exploration. It's not going to hold your hand, apparently. I kind of like it, but also don't like it. I, I'm of two minds about that. Remember crash? Yeah, that's true. We did find that seed on uh, Timber's Hearth. Already taken root. Take time on scout the launcher. Yeah, we did launch it in there. Picked up harmonica music within. Yeah, that was the one dude, can't remember his name, that they supposedly lost. They don't know where he went. Yeah. Launch it in there. Somehow it's much bigger on the inside. Uh, I could make a joke about that, but I'm not going to. Uh, I was running off Dark Rainbow after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. Okay, Feldspar, I think that's the one. Okay, so maybe we go to the core of Giant's Deep and something might happen that will allow us to survive Dark Bramble because I did try to fly into the center of Dark Bramble and uh, met, I met a new friend in there. And so we're in Dark Bramble. Yeah, so I guess all signs lead to the Dark Bramble. Uh, and yes, there was also a piece Bramble Island that we found on uh, Giant's Deep. Crimson jellyfish. Yeah, I saw that. I saw some more of those jellyfish too below the surface of Giant's Deep. Don't know what those are about. Don't know how that one became frozen. Maybe just an iciness of space. A piece of it got transported out to space. And water froze around it. I don't know. I doubt it. Okay, Felspar came there before heading into Dark Bramble, huh? Well, I, I went there and I didn't really see anything. Okay, well, I don't know. And lastly, this construction yard. I did find a bit of that. Didn't really explore it fully. I need to, though. Probably go back there in this episode. We'll see. That's where they built it. The uh, Pro Cannon. Uh, that cane was not asked to fire according to my long range for was recently launched with the orbital probe cane. Yeah. And of course, yes, there is more to explore there, as I just said. Okay, that. Oh, oh one more entry out here. Oh, a couple, maybe. Ocean depths. Strong current beneath. Yeah, that's right. Pillsbury found a way to reach the core of the giant steep. Okay. Well, hopefully, we will as well. And I, that bit I do know because I saw a little bit of that speed run. Hmm. Uh, Okay, good deal. Alright, let me catch up here as well. <laughs> People cosplaying in chat. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, haven't won yet. Just been catching up myself here. Um, oh, that's hilarious. Salty. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow, okay, so uh, close to the end of my last stream, I, I did fly into uh, the center of Dark Bramble like twice. There was there was one entrance, and then I went into another entrance <laughs> there, changed colors very slightly. And yes, I found the teeth that you were, that you had apparently also seen. And uh, thankfully, no, I did not die because, as I had said before in that stream, I've, I've been playing a lot of Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero uh, 
Um, so I'm kind of used to seeing creatures that look like leviathans. Um, yeah, those the, it had a strong resemblance to an angler, indeed. And uh, they, I'm not going to say that they don't scare me. The, those uh, those leviathans, as well as that creature in Dark Bramble. Uh, but I've learned to kind of maybe compartmentalize that section of my fear and just say, remember, it's a game and all that. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything else to see in the ship's log. I don't know how much time has passed just by reading it. But we're just going to go ahead and keep it on exploring. So here we go. And let's see. Let's see. There's the quantum moon right there taunting me. As it does, you know. But I'm going to start off by going to Ash Twin again. And, or at least, well, let's let's start off over here at Ember Twin, because there are some things I did see here. That I would like to examine. See, there's that one point of light that it had been talking about at one point. And, okay, so let's... Let's examine this place, shall we? Let's land right over here. Uh, that's an awful landing. Don't want to. Let's not do that. Let's come over here a little bit, shall we? There we go. Good enough. Okay. And I didn't find signal. Uh huh. Oh, definitely unidentified. Okay. Has the sand started coming in yet from uh, Ash Twin? I don't think it has. Oh, no, it has. There it is. <laughs> uh, since it's heading this direction, yeah, I don't think it's going to cause a problem, hopefully, with uh, my ship here. We'll see. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no kidding. It was, uh... Those reapers can be interesting. Okay, so this is just a light beacon to inform people that there are something here, I guess. Well, let's check it out. There we go. I have no idea what we're going to find here. It just looks like some damage or whatever. Anything we need to come see there. Ah, we do, however, have some quick recording here. For all systems, but interesting first. One unharmed. Escape pods, passengers are afraid, but physically willing. Once you have to crash. Okay, I'm going to go through one find the other escape pods. Just try signals. Signals somewhere in this star system. Hmm. Okay, let's that, yep, ship's log updating. All right. Looks like things may go in these crevices here. I don't know. Oh, well, this is okay. Is that something we can get into? No. Is it moving? No, it does look broken or something. That too. All right. Well, let's keep looking around. Ooh, these look like stasis pods or some such. Oh wow, this is this is new. Okay, uh, turn back away. Here we go. Begin flight log. Escape pod two. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency is activated. Waiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod three. Okay, so these are escape pods. Are what these things are apparently. Collision imminent. Preparing preparing for impact. An external environment. Inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Oh. Interesting. Where is that signal, by the way? Is it still... Is that this? No. Oh, it's just that. Okay. I should have pulled this out when I was near there. Oh, well. We can do that again later. I do keep forgetting to do such things. Ooh, got dark in here. 
more of these. <sighs> uh, yeah, that's the short version of it, indeed. Then again, you haven't really been following me for long, or have you? So it can be forgiven. Even the stars of the sun is more bearable below the surface. What? Below the surface of the sun? Okay. Our escape pod punctured this planet's surface and broke into a skin shows that cases of much cooler air. I would recommend these such These passengers are pains. Uh Okay, okay, no, the heat from the star system is more bearable below the surface of this planet, I guess. Okay. Even with the danger, there's still a best chance to have a little form teams to send the case of the pressure of sag. Findings on the walls will be becoming irre irreversibly lost. Hopefully, I'll be able to find those same markings. Be cautious, everyone. Be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. It appears to be, huh? Yep, yep, I most definitely miss fans, so is Susan, if you ever get a chance to see her. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna need to flash that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah, there's all the markings on the wall. It's great, great. Oh, this is gonna be a maze. Yeah, I'm gonna look right here. Emergency escape hatch. Uh, okay. Nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. Is there anything they can wait to know a certain amount of time? Okay, so that's a dead end, I take it. Alright, good luck, Nauseam. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Feel free to lurk, I do appreciate it. Uh, close tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Uh oh. Okay, good to know. Oh, there's the sand coming in there. Interesting. More sand over here. Enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. Maybe we can a long term shelter there. Ooh, really? My choice for shelter are going to be marked directions for the others to follow. Start of the path to shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Good. Sand, do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Ah. Well, I'm going to have to visit here probably more than once then. To, um. Ouch, ouch, oops. This passage leads to breathable air. We fill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the air exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Alien sun? So... That's good, I think. Turn quickly. Uh, it doesn't seem like this, there's heat here. I guess there is. Uh -huh. uh, a lot more grumbling and such now. Alright, um... Oops, bonk. So this supposedly leads to, if we can make it there, a large cavern where they said they were going to build their camp or whatever boat. Right? Snag. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, that's filling up quick. There we go. This is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. I mean, I'll follow what I can follow. And so far, I'm not really able to follow much of anything. Uh, I may be... I may die down here, which, you know, if that happens, that happens. Uh, I'm gonna take this path first, I guess. Nope, this is a dead end. Alright, fine. Dead end here. How about over this way? 
I haven't found any more instructions. It's a dead end, too. Uh, oh, wait, hey. Here's something. What's this? Reach the door, walk forward until you meet the sand, fall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations upon the bird. The opening above them. Okay, I'm, I'm terrible with directions. I'm gonna see if I can't uh, follow these directions from memory, but we'll see. Hmm. I'm going to climb over to the opening above them. Tenor's rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Okay, it's a deep. Oh, okay. This, uh, wow. Alright, and this just leads around, I presume, back to there. Yeah, okay, okay. I am being as swift as I can be. Assuming, okay. Assuming I can't, but no, it did say to take a left, so I'm taking a left. Here we go. This is something about columns, and you should rise up through them. So that maybe not. The, oh no, here it is. This and rise up. There we go. Okay. Here's this. All right, good deal. And yay, there's something else here. Has my head. The bridge will run. I craft will do its job, but it isn't strong. Well, it definitely isn't. It's gone. Or so I look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. Sounds great. I guess this is just a death trap probably or something like that. Very well. So there's a hidden... Yep, there sure is. Oh, didn't... that was weird. Okay, yay, welcome. We're here. Be careful of the thorny stuff. Doing well, there's only a little further left to go down to reach the shelter site. You can rest there, hurry before the sand comes. I mean, you know, doing what I can't. Oh, jeez. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, really? I'm supposed to go. I'm trying to get there before the sand comes. Alright, there we are. We're somewhat in here, I think. Oop, oop. And that should open this up. Hey, look. Vegetation. Ship log has been updated. What's up here? I gotta know what's up here first. <laughs> uh, oops, something. I'll definitely have to read this. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. Let me guess. Piece of dark bramble, right? I believe the special must be very old data management. We might learn if we could examine it. Well, why don't you? Uh, Strike Planet is this horror's place of origin. Is this horror's place of origin? Especially considering we start during the vessel's evacuation. Vessel, huh? It's too small for it to fit through. If there's another entrance to this cave, there is close, and I will find it. I have the information undiscovered. Can't. Absolutely can't. So I quickly away because when I returned here to search for the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. So much to see and do and find. Oh, okay. Sand building up inside that too. would be cool. Oh, yeah, we need oxygen, I guess. So we could actually read that. Can we? We can't fit in there, can we? No. 
So there definitely must be some way to get in there. We don't know what that way is, but there must be some entrance to it. So in the meantime, I need to refill oxygen from plants and such, and there's some plants over here, so please refill. Come on. Thank you. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin Project? I don't know. Should we get this level of power? Yes, practically no, I can't I can discover in my lifetime. Only, but the sun station is really complete the Ash Twin Project. Okay, sun station. I do vaguely remember a reference to that also from the speedrun that I saw. And again, I always saw a bit of it, so nothing spoiled, hopefully. I just can't comprehend this as being such a seriously perfect sensation goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Hey, how's that? I'm surprised that I'm just pushing the possible new technology further than ever before that my experience is to find a first of species. Yeah. Fail, and probably this is not insignificant. We will without question destroy ourselves in life here and the rest of the star system. Hmm. I wonder if this has something to do with what's going on. We shouldn't build the sensation no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. If a cautious sensation will work, I believe in pine. Welcome to the honored idea. I comprehend your position. However, uh, if we aren't all but certain, the sensation will not cause destruction. However, if we aren't all but certain, the sensation will not cause destruction once we built it, then I won't support the station's use. Hang on, that's a lot of negatives in there. I gotta try and, and follow along with. <laughs> Ship's log uh, info. Okay, Anglerfish Overlook District. Stepping Stone District. Oh, so this is a teleporter. High Energy Lab Trailhead. Eye Shrine District. Um, can we. Oops. Let's, let's start with one. Where was one? Was this one? Yeah, Higher Energy Lab Trailhead. Ooh, the sand is rising quickly. Okay, so this just turns on the lights. Alright, um, wow. So whatever was down there, we can't uh, find it anymore because it's already been covered up in sand. Oh, well. That happens. Oh! Ghost matter detected. And. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's in fact right here, right in front of us. So we better not do that. We are about to get buried in sand here. Here's some more writing. Everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system. Is that good? What the eye? Why did that happen? What is this eye I keep hearing about? I 
is it something good? It certainly doesn't sound well. It's worth the sand, it's more of it. time left here before we are totally screwed. More sand is coming. Ooh, it's broken up. It's hot around here or some such. Hmm. Nope, did I... Th oh, yeah, it wants me to watch the scavenger. I suppose I could, but I'm really worried. Oh, we're up here now. Okay. Sand is still rising, so it's not uh, not insignificant. Can we not walk? No, it's obstructed. Okay, that's what I expected. Oh, yeah. And the sand is coming by. with us and we can't yeah we're not we're not gonna make it all right um eh, why am i unable to even jump here come on yeah time's running out fast i'm not if anyone knew me knows me they know I, I, i'm not a fan of time limits on anything But yeah, we're rapidly running out of it. What's this over here? Gravity cannon. Oh. Open up. All right. It says this leads to the gravity cannon. Somehow I doubt that. Oh, for crying out loud, more ghost matter, huh? Yeah. Yeah, running out of oxygen. If I hit ghost matter, I hit ghost matter. I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll live. I think we're okay, as long as I don't go to where those crystals are, you know? Uh, so this supposedly leads to... Oh, yeah. There's the sun. We're going by. Oh, look. There's something up there. Okay, yeah, the uh, the cannon, the whatchamacallit cannon. It, the sand is definitely filling it up fast. Huh. And there's Ash Twin almost completely em emptied. It did. I can't get to my ship. It's, it's really far away now. Otherwise, I'd love to head over to Ash Twin right about now. And see see what all's going on. Boy, we are really close to the sun here. Wowza. Uh, um. Hey, actually, there's the ship right there. But I still don't think we have enough time to really do anything. And that's okay. That's like... Oops, something just to... Oh, that's the white hole. Hey, I'll be able to at least identify this signal now that I'm here at a train. Distress speaking. Escape pod 2. Okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And in we go. Ready to die and such. All right, where are you? Um, what is that? Oh, it's Timber Park. Where's Ash Twin? Come here, Ash Twin. Come on, come on. 
I know the time's just about up here, I can tell because the sand is almost complete here. There we are. Accelerating towards destination, even though we're getting really close to the sun. No one should ever have to be this uh, close to the sun, I guess, huh? This is probably going to destroy us. I don't know. But just for the heck of it, let's see what's happening. Yeah, there goes the sun. So here we go. Uh, Anyway, okay, so we're getting really close to the... Hey, look, there's an opening here. Or whatever that's worth. <laughs> A couple of them. So this is the center of Ash Twin. And there goes the sand. Hopefully I'll get out of the way before it yoinks me up. And this takes us way up, apparently. Okay. Okay, so this is not... I don't think this is where we really want to be. Even. Yeah, not so much. Okay, so here's the in supposedly impenetrable core here. I don't even know where the ship is. It's probably gone. And that's fine. That's to be expected, I suppose. And gravity is really low now because there's so little mass remaining here on this thing. But I still, I'm finding it hard to believe that there's absolutely no way to get to the middle of this uh, place. I feel like there's got to be get to the core of Ash Twin here. Oh, there's the ship. Okay. It actually is still alive for the moment. Not for long. There's the music. Yeah. We're done here. So I don't know where one would go. I mean, I don't know where there could possibly be a, an entrance. To the middle of this planet. Hmm. We're just going to go ahead and let the timer run out and kill us, and that'll be that. And I'm okay with it. There goes the sun. Curb image. Let's get a good look at it, huh? Let's get it up here. Oh, too late. So pretty. Star has gone supernova. Zap. All right. So it's probably about 35 minutes or so. Well, something like that. 30 to 35, because I had to read text and whenever I'm reading text. I've got the game set to pause the, the game while I'm reading it. So it's almost like this flood of information that's happening right there is like transferring uh, 
all those memories to this new body again. Up there, see, there goes that thing, whatever that is. And that's View the Log. So we got Skip Park 2, Sun the City, Anglerfish Fossil, yep. So that is definitely called the Anglerfish, alright. Build a debated building sensation order power the Ash Twin project. You know, I, build, I know my city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. Hmm. Debated building sensation order power the Ash Twin project. Torch and Angry arguing that failure could result in destruction of the solar system. No, I think it did. I can't the fish fossil out, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out that. I've crashed in one of three you know, my escape pods have crashed in our solar system, so there's two others, and we don't know where they went. So, which was badly damaged. Okay. So, uh, wow, where do we go from here? What's with the colors? Purple, green, amber, red. I am awfully curious. And then little things like that. Um. Okay. Well, let's try doing what some of the following along with some of what we've learned here from this, which is to say, yeah, see, there's the sun station. There's the interloper and the white hole. Let's see, I'd love to see the white hole station, but I don't know. Um, Dark Bramble, we haven't really quite done anything yet with Deep little hollow, hollow's lantern. Can we even land on the lantern? I feel like we should be able to. Why is the okay? And there's the quantum moon. Watch about. Why is there an asterisk? Oh, does that mean where we are? I guess. Quantum Grove. Yeah. Oh, I guess it just means we had to read about that. Very well. Um, wow, lots of things we can do. So let's go to uh, Giants Deep and check out the uh, underneath, shall we? Um, let's hop out here. Let's fire, buckle up, rather. And once again, as we've seen to often do head towards giant steep. And um Careful don't hit the remains of the orbital probe cannon. Um so what is it just put us yeah, it just puts us in orbit and says, okay. Landing mode. Well we're not really gonna be <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head on in. Good old giant steep here. Where it's always stormy. Now let's find the one that is going the opposite direction. We're gonna do this now. There you are. Hello, you. Let's see what happens. Whoosh. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> so let's look at them jellyfish. Maybe they'll kill us. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Hi, guys. What's up? I'm deathly afraid of these things. I don't know 
know what they're going to do if I touch them. They look like they're electrified, so it might harm me if I do get near them. What's up? Oh, yeah. Electrical systems damage. Exit ship to repair. Um, no. <laughs> um, let's just go on towards the middle here. Oh, okay. We can't do that. Alright, fine. That was the reactor. Alright, well, let's uh, surface. Perhaps inside here, or no, okay, outside, fine. Let's head over here then, shall we? Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. Hole breached it. As soon as I tried to land, I just exploded. So, that was a short trip. <laughs> okay then. Uh, all right. There we go. See, there goes a piece of something over there. there. Um, let's see. Well, that didn't quite work. Where's gear options? This is... Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, well. Let's move on. I don't know where I'm going to go now. Uh, why don't we just really be dumb? to that, I guess. And check out... Where's... Where is everything? Okay, there again, the quantum damn moon. Um, there's the ash. Where's, where's Brittle Hollow and Hollow's Lantern? Over here! Hey, let's go to Hollow's Lantern. Because why the hell not? And again, if we die, we die. You know, this is not something that uh, just whatever. So is this hot surface, and it will melt us? Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hey, it was worth checking out, though. It was worth discovering, <coughs> excuse me, even just for the experience of seeing what's going on there. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right, moving on. Ah. <sighs> Where to now? Uh, Bramble? Where's something? I don't know. Bramble or Dark Hollow or some such. That's me. Hey, there's Dark Bramble right there. Alright, let's... And see, what is this thing that's floating around out here in the middle of nowhere? Oh, that's the sun station. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, we're getting a little close to the sun. Why are we getting close to the sun? No. Oh, okay, good. Here we are at our ramble. 
which if I recall correctly, all the extremities are just like ice or whatever. Or something. Burp, burp, burp. Okay, um, it's going to pull us in, that's fine. What do we know here? Oh, ocean depths. What's, what's with the ocean depths? It's part of the column beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Yes, it does. Okay. So does that basically mean we, we could, um... Yeah, let's, let's just fly on inside, why not? Does that basically mean that we could, uh, in theory... Exit the ship when we when we uh what does it look like if we look outside okay I don't know so we could exit exit our craft and then just kind of um, Move towards the uh, the center with just in our regular old suit kind of thing. Is that is that it? Is that what's going on? could happen? I don't know. So much fog. My goodness gracious. Oh, don't want to bonk too hard here. I don't know where it's where is this? What is what is what's going on? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Kinda wanna to go towards the red light, even though I think that may have been what killed me the last time. I don't remember if it actually was. Because there are several lights in here, obviously. Um and I don't know if... Oh, it's an anglerfish light. Okay. So... Whoops. Bonked against the edge there. Okay, so these are definitely anglerfish. Alright, alright. Fair enough. And there's, there's a red thing here. Okay. So do we just want to keep going deeper into it like this? I mean... I almost feel like we shouldn't. See, now it's turning green. And again, lots of lights, and some of which are anglerfish, maybe. I don't know. Backing up. Damage. I would imagine the whole hole is damage from these guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what? Oh, okay. Okay then. Um, Well, we able to okay well we do need to repair this though so let's see can we can we land on this all kinds of damaged hole pieces here there we go and let's head outside and, and, and repair So let's repair the aft hole. Okay. What else was there? Uh, oh yeah, starboard hole. Okay. And I think uh, right up here. Yeah, the upper hole. Hey, hey. Here we are. There we go. I think that's all of the hole. <laughs> that we need to repair. Repaired. Yay! How does that look now? Yep, all repaired. I thought it's going to help us any. 
Oops, sorry, that's uh go to here or maybe. I feel like what I need to do is go to Brittle Hollow and go into its the black hole in the center of it. Which supposedly we will take us to the White Hole Station. Actually, speaking of White Hole Station, it should be right about here anyway. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, here's the question. Are we moving towards the sun right now? Yeah, but it's a hell of a distance away. Look at that. 23 kilometers. Uh, let's go to the White Hole uh, stuff here. Surely the White Hole station is around it here, around nearby. Yeah, I think I see a bit of it. By the way, there's the... Oh, no, that's Giant Steve. Not the one I'm doing, sorry. But should be... Yeah, there it is. White Hole station. right here I think maybe I don't know is there any place for me to uh, land on it or something safely ish I don't know doesn't really look like it Maybe on this thing. <laughs> Not really. Eh. I'm trying though. One one does one's best. Sure, this is fine. <laughs> it isn't, but it is, okay. And we can walk around here because of the gravity thing. Just grab it. Whoa, whoa, hang on. I was not... Uh, okay, hold your horses. Take me back here. <laughs> Gotta be careful with my... Um, with my uh, stuff. I, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, Inertia. Yeah, gotta be careful with my inertia. That's it. There we are. Hello. So, let's see. Where is this? Uh, oh, trees detected, eh? Okay. Whoa. Hello. What's going on? Where am I? Where am I? What's happening? Blink. There we go. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah. So, this is clearly an indication that everything from Brittle Hollow and White, or White Hole's... Wait, what? The arrow's not quite lined up. Can we do anything about that? No, I don't think so. Now, let's read up here. Welcome to the White Hole Station. Yay! If you fell through the Black Hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Okay. Turn specific astral body. Hmm, okay. I see. Uh, tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. Okay, you must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. Yeah, see that thing is slowly rotating over there. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Yeah. See, this is slowly rotating, so once it lines up with that again, then we're teleporting to... Uh, we'll be teleporting there. Oh, we can put a projection stone there. Oh, no, that's just dropping it anywhere. Okay, well, let's take it. I don't see that there's anything to do with it in this room, so 
Let's take it. Yeah. Down to the next level, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Oh, oh, it's rotating. So there's two ways this thing can be rotated to aim towards, I guess. And we've got it aiming towards something. I guess we'll have to go back up to see what it's aiming towards. Yeah, see, it's rotating it way away now. Oh, I guess we have to... Oh, so... Oh, right. Right. Okay. Inter... Oh, so it's... Hmm. Pretty soon here we're going to be aligned with uh, that. With uh, Brittle Hollow. And we've teleported. And we are now without our ship, too, by the way. Okay, so these are teleportation stones, or, or devices. So, interesting, interesting. And now we're on Brittle Hollow, and we're kind of screwed a bit. Um, yeah, let me translate this to parts of time or out of time. Uh, okay. Turn warp status charge. Step onto the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Um, but is there? Huh. I don't know. The hanging city below 50 meters. Oh, okay. Well, they can't get to there. Here, it's kind of kind of broken. Probably could send a scout down there, but I don't see any reason to do so so much. Just showing the teleport, I guess. Well, my friends, I'm Brutal Hollow. I just worked here from Whitehall Station. On the other side of Brutal Hollow is Black Hole. Some of the work has since we recreated warp travel. Oh, it's been a long time since I've jumped through the black hole. <laughs> wow. Don't know how to close it and how close it is to an enormous version of Samson. What we've built works, and I'm delighted. You know, we can do it. Cassandra, I hope you're ready for this. I mean, this can't be correct. Clarity, reason these readings, if they're accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. Turning to the Whitehall Station, if you and route meet me there, we can run full damage. Oh, I'm going to stop this up. Ah, here we go. Here we go. And of course, one of those as well. Let's drop this in here first of all. Number 10. Projection stone. Okay. <clears throat> When I view the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomaya arriving at the Warp Receiver in Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. What? Oh, that's interesting. It's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the results are the same every time something works. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our chance are accurate? Can't accurate measure of time to such a small degree? Many of these measurements can't be accurate. And my arrival on Brutal Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleport. The implications are absurd. So it's kind of the reading is inaccurate. She's currently helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. So I'm experiment to take more data. I was in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here, I need to see this. Mm -hmm. I'm just very 
it would mean I've inadvertently wrote several fundamental theories regarding this universe, and we'd have to reconsider the normal beliefs about the nature of time. Okay, here, so... And if I drop that in here... Let's see what this does for us. Okay, so it shows us where we would need to be. I guess. Or something like that. And that's here. Which is Ember Twin. Not Ash Twin. Ember Twin. Huh. Okay. I may have been here once before. I don't know for certain. But okay, I'm just going to leave that stone there. I don't care. Um, fascinating. Okay. Really, really interesting. So yeah, we are on Brittle Hollow. Of course, as always, Hollow's Lantern is continually demolishing pieces of Riddle Hollow here. I think we've already read this one. Yeah, the Phantom Moon, they were talking about this. This is finally starting to make sense now. Yeah, if we get too damaged here, we gotta be a little bit careful. Then, uh, oh, okay. Then we'd be really screwed. And we're back here. Yay, you two. At this, uh, whatchamacallit place here. Oh, what was that? And our ship's right up there. Uh, so, I don't know if there's any reason to put this over here on this side. I guess it would just rotate it the other direction. There is, I have to ad admit, there, whoops, there is quite a bit, whoops, nope, keep that in there. Um, oh, we missed it. That's why we'd want to turn it the other direction, I guess. So if you just miss it, you can hurry it up or something. Oh, it's blocked from going... Oh, goodness. Okay. Interesting. Weird, but interesting. Just leave it then, because by this time it'll be over halfway. Yeah. Yep. Even though we are uh, almost halfway depleted of our fuel, we'll be okay to see it glows again. So we can easily go back if we wanted to. Harsh time. Yeah, see? One ten thousandth of a second, or whatever. So now, do all of these things work? Do all the warps? Uh, I doubt it. I don't know. We've already looked at all of 
that. Just gonna walk around here. Yep, see only oh, ow. Can we we can patch ourselves up, I think. We have to like hold still for a little while or something, maybe. No. And down we go. There's the hanging city ish or something. No, we're in black. station and here's our ship right over there. Almost out of fuel. Can we make it? Eh, not that it matters. I mean, time so much time has, has now passed that uh, it's not likely even that um, we can even get to another place. Ah, come back here. We could even get to another place. There we go. Healed up and everything. Well, okay, so that's a thing. Actually, let me look at our ship's log. Here we go. White Hole Station, turned to a specific astral body. Tiring to be standing in the warp during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. Okay. Some strange warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed from the White Hole Station. Train object in reporting was clearly minuscule or roughly a thousand second. I'm skeptical of their equipment to even measure such a small measure time to such a small degree. Measure the Rhino Station was further investigated at the high energy lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. The Ashman Project was planning with the high energy lab building with solar panels on Ember Twins Equator. Hmm. Okay, and I think that's all here. I think on the next loop, uh, we can try heading back to Ember Twin, and because there is more to find in the Sun, the City, and that high energy lab, wherever that is, that's not even showing up here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So yeah, let's check that out. I guess There's definitely more to explore there, but I don't know what else there would be. We'll spend whatever time we've got remaining doing that, I guess. Hey, come on, let go of me. Oh, it just slam dunked right out on the surface of the sun there. Yeah. Well, there's Timber Hearth, but I don't see Ash and Timber. Oh, there they are. Yeah, time's almost up, I think. Look at that.
Let's just go ahead and fly into the sun. We. Because why not? So close to me. Oh, we landed. <laughs> or at least we're orbiting now. It looks like uh, Ember Twin. And we're just going to bonk against it here. Me. Okay. Fine. We'll just stay here. Hop out and get a good look at the sun. There's that orbital cannon. I end of your uh, solar system. I imagine there's no way to actually avoid that. It's just, you know, there's not a no protective area or zone. Not in the white hole or black hole or anything. Which is fine. Alright, so it sounds like what I'd want to do next is to head straight for Ember Twin in the equator, look for that high energy lab there. I guess. I don't know. That's what I want to do anyway. That's my plan. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we need to view here. Yep, it's all the same. Yeah, Riddle Hollow is sort of showing up there. There's White Hole Station. And the Interloper. More to find there, but I don't know how. Don't know how to get to the uh, Sun Station either. <laughs> Anyway, all right. So much more we need to learn about. All right, where's where's our twins? There they are. I'm gonna go to Ember Twin, not Ash. Thank you. As soon as possible, before the sand starts filling up the equator. Quickly as we can. And of course, Ash Twin is right in my way. Floating around here. Uh, flashlight. What do we? What's happened? Oh, I fell in here. Okay. All right. So this is the equator. There are lots and lots of holes here. See if there's anything down here except just a core of sand. And now the sand has begun pouring over us here. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. I yeah, I couldn't <laughs> do much to it. All right, so don't do that. Good to know. 
Aha. Is that not the equator? I would have thought it is. Visually, anyway. Um, okay. We're not going to go to that supposed equator then. Let's just go to what, what looked like was going to be the atmosphere. Alright, there you are, Ember Twin. Let's go. Oops. Oops. Let us go. Again, Ash Twin's going to get in the way. Try. Yes, undershot the target, and there's a reason for that, obviously. Hey, right here. This. Dang on it. Didn't want to land here. Trying to get over here. Ugh. Maybe these things just are. Ah. Hey, there's actually a thing down here. This could be interesting. Wobbly, but you were here. Oh, yeah, we didn't land very well, that's why. <laughs> okay, whoa, hello, come on. Take me up here properly, thank you. What is this? A, the shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Oh, interesting, interesting. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Uh, okay, and what's over here? The sunless city. 120 meters, it says. Oh, but we can't because of all this. <sighs> Shoot. Yeah. That's... I have a feeling at some point we'll unlock the ability, unlock, the ability for like um, this to allow us to, to like teleport to where it is. All right, so this is what now? Is Call the shuttle home. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's bring this back first of all. Thank you. Let's call the shuttle home. And zap, there it is, and I bounced it everywhere because <laughs> my own ship was in the way. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I, uh, that's my fault, I'm sorry. But hey, here it is. Let's look at this shuttle now. Hey, goody, what's the in here? Right, what's, what, what am I translating? <laughs> what is it looking at? I don't even know. Another dead body. Oh, this thing. Okay. Your situation may be dire, says Clary. High Pokemon I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in this star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings come coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Of the comet? Pine Poker have located a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended in send inside of us with the source of the readings. Oh, I should be gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I don't know. Well, protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke pipe. 
Huh, yeah, definitely should fall. Oh, hello. That's another one of those uh, teleport things, so that's probably... Hmm. Okay. I got an achievement, Pibu or something there. I don't know, but okay. Yeah, it's okay. Let's <coughs> try something like that again. A little bit different this time. But, uh, how about how long have I been streaming? Almost an hour and a half. Nearabouts. Okay. Oh, hey, there's there's the moon right there. Well, as soon as we leave, and no one's observed yet, so it's gone now. There goes that whatever that white thing is. I think that always travels the same direction each time, maybe. I don't know. Not 100% sure. Okay. Back again, looking for... Uh, Ember Twin. Ash Twin. Daggone it, Ember Twin. Autopilot, give me there, dag nibbit. Ashwin's gonna get in my way, of course. Because it does that every time. I I know there's more to investigate on Ashwin, but I have no clue what I would investigate on Ashwin. I honestly don't know. What's with the three oh, the rockets, okay. Alright, so let's head over to... Where, where do we want to head? Hmm... That's that source of... That's that entrance sort of thing. Uh-huh. And there's... There's a grove. Here's the cannon. Oh, this is... Okay, this is a different cannon, right? This is not... Actually, no, this is this is right. This is correct here. Let's stop here. And... Thank you. And how about... There we go. There's, I don't think these are anything, are they? Okay, fair enough. Down here we go. There we go. And sure, this is call it home. Was that right? Yeah. Which it most certainly does do. And that left. gravity cannon, so I guess that means it would shoot this. And take me up on in here, thank you. And yeah, we did read all about this. So, I'm thinking this will allow us to, to it'll just fire off this. Oh look, there's one of the masks that we've seen. Huh. What is that? Flying by, I don't know. Is that like land, I guess? Well, we just now left, didn't we? Where we're going, I have no idea. But we're going. Oh! 
it calls us back home. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what the other one does, but that's okay. Ah, shoot. There we are. Patch that up nice and easy. And if we launch this, it just launches the ship, yeah, out to... Who knows where. Probably just into that. Wow, what is that noise we're hearing now? Launch it and recall it. Is that going to be useful for anything? I can't imagine. I'd love to be able to go through there, but we just can't. Okay, um, yeah, there's our ship still over here. Let's go back to it, look at our log. I think uh, I kind of want to go back to you know, gravity cannons, subsurface energy reading. Oh, I don't even remember those. I'm sure to generate strong upper gravity field. Recovering my shuttle from the... Yeah. There we go. Uh, land on the interloper not long after its arrival in solar system. Strange energy readings. Come from somewhere beneath the surface. Oh my lord, the shuttle will stay behind. Stay behind. Lost contact with the other two after the... Clear, you're not clearly. Alright. Shell's equipment hurry to somewhat make the surface. Two of the no mine located fish on the ice and the summer side they decided to investigate. Okay. Uh wow, so many things we need to investigate now. I don't know where to begin. Where's the interloper? Well, let's take off for a bit and see if we can't find either the interloper and or uh oh, oh, there's an astronaut. Um, again, there's that. That's not helpful, though. Probably in our next loop, we'll we'll take a look at the interloper, maybe. Mayhaps. Oh, hang on. This is not a good place to land. Uh, yeah. Definitely not. Okay, thank you. <laughs> if anything would be a good place to land, it'd be like right up there. Right over here or something, you know, on, on these. Oh, I just overshot it. There we go. Uh, sort of. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's a teleport thing on there. So then, in theory, we ought to be able to like teleport, huh? Ow! I think we'll be okay. That didn't really hurt that much. All right.
this is the new version of the Doom game, right? And of course. Oh, just a little place to air up, huh? <laughs> There's a way, an easy way to get back to that thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, so there's there's these things going on. As the sand slowly lowers, this gets more and more exposed, and there's more stuff to find and discover. Including uh, one of our dudes here. Aha! Another transporter. So in theory, whenever it transports, we can teleport us to some location or what. I bet you'd have to actually really be. not get sucked up, shall we? If we can help it. No, thank you. I'm good. Let that go on by. Yeah, there we are. Oh, I thought that was going to take us to Timber Park or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not too crazy worried about it right now. This is probably a faster way of traveling. Yeah, look at that. Just do it. To be a little bit careful, though. Oh, man, this is damaged. Yeah, there's definitely some a teleport thing in there. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we're getting really low here. Down a little bit. There we go. And here we are. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. No, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and I don't see any, re any point to doing that. I mean... Oh, hello. There's some text read here. I checked in with you, Pine. How are you? idea Grace with the Sun Station. This is our plan. We'll either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Hmm. Uh, you know, I don't find that funny. It's a mess. I don't recall our question. I monitor this conversation idea. I want to see what stated matter you are has to do with this. And I don't recall supporting the Sunstage description, but here we are. And so away from the station would benefit would be beneficial to you both. And the change in testing your hypothesis zero. That at least we can agree on. Uh, I don't see how we could possibly to deal with that. Oh, man. Alright, let's stay inside here while this passes over. Yeah, this is just such a waste of time having to wait here. Here it goes. Okay. So, moving on. Keeps on saying there's more to explore here. Yes, well, what is there to explore here? There just seems to be so little to 
actually see. Whoa, whoa, back up, back up. Oh my goodness. So this is back the way we came. Yes, this one. Okay, see, so now we can... Oh, okay. What I find really odd is how, at one point, they were saying that... Teleport us to the sun, please. Oh, where did we go? Where on earth did we just teleport to? Brittle Hollow? Timber Hearth? March time, arrival time. Warp says charge, step on to activate it. Um, where even are we? Uh, it looks like, t yeah, it is. This is Timber Hearth. <laughs> well, all right. Um, man, there's the Adel Rock, the moon. Womp, and we're back again. Okay. Interesting stuff. Very interesting. I guess once you've figured out, you know, the purpose of these things, then... They become activated. with teleports and different well so yeah I don't know where this one would take us oops there we go that's an interesting look I think we've read these we're from the black hole forge oops so this core sibling of the hollow to write this Well, okay, I remember reading these before. Okay, that's... That's a thing. Okay. Ah! Come on. Let me walk here. He's just going to yank us up. As it goes overhead, I... Mm, no, we won't. Go. Okay. wonder where this one's going to teleport us. We may have already missed... ...whatever, you know, thing it, it, it brings us towards. I don't know. But there's the sun again. And our loop is almost over this time, and I'm probably going to cut it off this loop too because um, well hmm. I've been recording for an hour and 45 minutes that's um, that's probably enough for me for today 4 o'clock p.m. my time it could be the, one of those that or that yeah it, it's brittle hollow again Holy cow, where am I in Brittle Hollow? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to be pulled into the black hole. Darn it. 
I was not ready for this. Well, Time's almost up for one thing. Fuel's almost gone for another. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. We're just out floating in space. Don't mind us. Ugh. Giant Steep's going to grab us here in a moment. We're going to go crashing down on that planet instead. Hmm. Yeah, it is quite critical, isn't it? What a shame. See, we're getting yanked by uh, Giant Steep. Look at all those supernova happening all around out there. No, oh, maybe we weren't being pulled. Okay. I don't know. Whatevs. Wow, we're going to fly right by the, the moon and Timber Hearth. Hey, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> The, yeah, that. Oh, we're falling into the sun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Okie dokie. <clears throat> well, that's fine. So, uh... Well, we got some info and such to go on, I suppose. Um, learning about teleporting, learning about all kinds of things. Um, but I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight. <laughs> like, you even saw the quantum moon for just a moment before our eyes blinked. Yeah. Uh, I think we added just a little bit more info to our log, so let's go have a peek at that. Um, before anything else, there it is, the Hanging City. I almost made it to the Hanging City there, and then I foolishly jumped, and that kind of screwed up. Screwed everything up. We need to run all the city divided vertically into four districts. Yeah, well, sounds familiar. <laughs> um, I was also in the Sunless City, vertically into four districts. So there's a couple of different cities we need to check out. Are they all the same? I don't know, but we'll have to, you know, discover that next time. Because I am done here for today. Ah, it's been fun. I have enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, Nauseam, for stopping by and watching. And anyone else who happened to be watching, lurking, actually, appropriately. Um, and for those who have been watching live, thank you so very much for doing so. Please follow me here at twitch.tv slash sturmb if you're so inclined. Follow me on Instagram where I'm sturm. And on Twitter, where I'm at Sternby, that's the best place to follow me, because that's where you'll get all announcements, such as postponements, cancellations, as well as just general chit-chat. Um, that's where I live most of the time, is on Twitter. For those of you watching this on YouTube, smash that thumbs up button, punch subscribe, kick the bell, all, take out all of your aggressiveness on those shiny buttons just waiting for you. Also, please comment down below. I definitely will read and respond to any comments that are not spam. 
I stream every Wednesday evening. It's the best place to catch me, though, besides just watching me after the fact on YouTube or whatnot. Watch me on Twitch uh, every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. It's 18, excuse me, 0100 UTC. I'm getting confused once again in my head. That happens. I'm old. Shut up. And on Saturday afternoons at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, which is 1800 UTC. You guessed it. So, uh, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then, please take care and stay safe out there.